Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Thomas Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some of my favorite tools to enhance your anonymity online. Alright guys, let's get into the video. But wait Tom, why should we listen to you? You're just some random guy on the internet, right? Wrong. I'm not just some random guy. I'm the guy who created the first VPN tier list. Now I've pretty much created every single VPN out there and this is something no one else has ever done. I've been doing this for around five years now and I've probably spent thousands of hours of reviewing VPNs and that means these reviews are the most accurate on the internet, bar none. Hey guys, I put a ton of effort into making this guide for you guys. A lot of these tools are free tools and a lot of these tools are paid tools. If you guys are interested in the paid tools I am recommending in this video, keep in mind that these are tools I use every day. They're tools I 100% can vouch for and use as my daily drivers. They're excellent privacy tools that will help you stay more secure, anonymous, and private online. If you use my links for these tools in the description or pinned comment below, oftentimes you could get really good discounts, insane discounts, bundles, and stuff like that. So if you are interested in anything mentioned in this video, make sure to check the description or pinned comment. You'll help support the channel and get a good discount on some of these excellent, excellent privacy tools. So guys, basically for anonymity online, what you're going to be wanting to use is tools. You need tools to protect yourself and enhance your anonymity online. That's basically the best way to simply increase your anonymity without delving into stuff like code. So guys, first up, what I'm going to be recommending is a private way to communicate with other people. I wouldn't really recommend Telegram, WhatsApp, Discord, or even basic email. These things are not anonymous, and they each have their own risks and privacy kind of um, problems. So what I'm going to be recommending for you to use is Signal. Signal is a great private encrypted messaging um, application that is available on most platforms. You can use this to talk to people once you get their phone number and talk to them privately. It's not so good for anonymous to anonymous texting. It's more based like on anonymity if you're trying to converse with people you already know, which is probably the best way to actually have anonymous texting. If you're talking to someone you don't know, um, chances are it's not really anonymous because those people could share information learn about you uh, to others. So it's probably the best trusted secure messaging platform to talk to people you do know. So I would recommend Signal for that. Very easy to use and it's pretty solid. Next up we could talk about a browser. Which browser should you be using? And here on the channel I've always recommended one browser, that being the Brave browser. Don't take my word for it, look at some of these charts I found online that clearly list out why Brave is the best browser. This website called privacytest.org has done an extensive testing of which browsers do what best. Now of course no browser is going to be perfect. However that said, in terms of Brave it does really well in preventing uh, various parameters around tracking and it also does have the best tracker content blocking. As you can see here, Brave pretty much blocks every single thing, whereas a lot of other browsers fall short. Other things like LibreWolf or other kind of forks of Firefox can do well as well, but these kind of browsers a lot of the times aren't as secure because they're not up to date. So Brave, in my opinion, is the most up to date and most secure as well as anonymous browser that will prevent a lot of tracking on the internet definitely a go-to and if you guys want to see out this testing of course you can check it out at privacytest.org actually a decent website all right let's get back to the other recommended options next up we could talk about a vpn vpns are great to enhance your anonymity on your computer on your phone and other devices as well it's going to give you a private um, encrypted um, access to the internet it's going to put your internet through a secure encrypted tunnel Route it somewhere else and you're going to connect to a remote server that's going to give you a different IP address. This is going to make it harder for your internet service provider to track your browsing history and just kind of cheap, keep track of you overall. It's also going to be harder for websites to fingerprint you because they don't know your real IP address and know where you're coming from. It's good for this basic layer of anonymity and they can even be used to block ads as well which is one of my favorite things that VPNs can do. TorGuard specifically has really good ad blocking DNS features within it and several other VPNs do as well. VPNs are also good for geo unblocking and stuff like that, but it, that isn't so much related to that anonymity use case for VPNs. A lot of people out there like to say that VPNs aren't made for anonymity and they don't really make you anonymous whatsoever. 
However, those same people will end up telling you that VPNs still do have anonymous use cases. It's just not the end all tool to make you um, the next Edward Snowden or something like that. If you commit a crime and using a VPN, probably not a good idea, but most people who are using VPNs here recommended here on the channel are just basic people who want to protect their overall privacy and general anonymity online and vpns are still very very good to do that with in 2022 almost every single person who cares about privacy and anonymity is still using a vpn and you can find the best vpns rated here on the channel on vpntierless.com unlike most other youtubers or reviewers i've actually reviewed pretty much every single vpn with an objective unbiased look at them so take my word for it i know what i'm talking about <clears throat> Next up, let's talk about how to send encrypted and private emails. Like I said before, I do recommend Signal for private instantaneous messaging pretty much. However, there are still some cases where you need to use email. And one of the main problems with using stuff like Gmail is that they collect all sorts of information about you while using the service. However, you could prevent that by using a more private and encrypted service that doesn't pretty much use all your data to make money. Instead, you'll pay a small fee up front and gain access to encrypted email. There are several providers out there, stuff like ProtonMail, Tutanota, Postio, and several others. However, in my experience, the best one is Private Mail. Private Mail does lack a little bit of key features here that I've found in other things like Sleek Templar, which I do like. However, my experience is Private Mail is trusted, it's secure, and it's just plain reliable. It's also extremely cheap and good for what you get, and that's why it's my top recommended email platform here on the channel. It's also the same company ran by TorGuard VPN, which is undoubtedly the best VPN service out there too. So one reason I like to recommend both of them is because TorGuard actually has deals where you can get both VPN and encrypted email as a base package, which means that you can get more anonymity, more products, more tools for the same price. So generally people like to buy VPNs and stuff like that in encrypted email, but the prices do start adding up. So it's nice to see a bundled option here that you don't really see with many other um, services. Stuff like ProtonMail, ProtonVPN can offer decent services. However, if you get both of these packages, it does get pretty pricey. And I'll show a comparison here of the deals you could get with my recommended option, Torgor Private Mail versus Proton and Proton Mail. So essentially that's my recommended for encrypted email. Next up, we wanna talk about how to protect yourself by removing data about you online. Now, one of the most common ways to get doxxed is once people find out your real name, they could easily put it into any data broker website and find your real address, phone number, and even your relatives. This is a huge problem and not something I see enough people talking about, maybe because people just don't think people will be able to find their real name. However, that said, it does happen. I've seen it happen and you need to remove that real life information about yourself in case someone does find your real name. Now, one of the best services to do this is a website called Data Seal. Now, I previously recommended a service called Delete Me here on the channel, and I've seen this recommended on YouTube as well. However, the people who run that company don't do things as good as Data Seal, in my opinion. One of the reasons is that Delete Me has a much worse pricing model than Data Seal. Data Seal lets you pay month to month and is thus cheaper and doesn't require you to pay up to a year. It also removes things more quickly and also has a unique kind of built-in notifier that notifies you of any data leaks or anything like that you could be a part of. And it's actually pretty cool and notifies you of pretty big breaches that happen on a regular occurrence, which is another reason you should have a data broker removal service like Data Seal. So I would definitely recommend checking that out as well. Anyways, guys, those are some of my top recommended here tools here on the channel that I use day to day. I love all these tools. I stand by them 100%. I use them all myself and they've done really well for me over the years to increase my privacy and anonymity online. Now, total anonymity is not possible unless you want to go in the forest and live with a little notepad and paper, but achieving a good amount of privacy and anonymity online, or at least more than you had before is definitely possible with these tools. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, but all of them are going to help you. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this one and I'll see you again very soon.